get out, get out, meet people, show them you're you. Get out and about. Get out and about, meet people, and show them you're you. And maybe they may learn something. Uh, we need to go there, don't we? Go anyway, down that more fruitful life. Ladies and gentlemen, you need to get out, meet people, and show them that you are you. Hopefully you'll learn something of each other. You could learn from each other, you can inspire each other, you can make life better by knowing more people, by meeting people, by getting out and meeting people, you can show them who you are. Yeah. That used to be a record shop there in the 70s. Ladies and gentlemen, this shop used to be a record shop in the 70s. Yeah. Right there. Tell us about it. Oh, God. Um, I wanted a Gary Glitter album when I was about seven or eight. Dad took me in there and he, he wouldn't buy it. He said, get the Elvis one. And I said, no, I want Gary Glitter. Yeah, and I think I got the both in the end. He's going mad because I keep running around the house saying, do you want to be in my game? <laughs> I think you have to pay to go in there now. You do, you do. This film is called Get Out, Meet People, Show Them You Are You. And they are they. They are they. And you can become one. And together we can shine on. Here is a squirrel. There is squirrels everywhere. I don't think that one's called Cyril. It's called Bill, that one. I'm sure I see him in the carpenter's arms every day. People used to sit about here, drinking cans of beer, playing football in the park. But I suppose all that's banned now. Must enjoy yourself, you see. We must get out. We must meet people. We must show them that we are us. And then we can see that they are them. And they don't know who they are. You ask them this and ask them that and they don't know. You ask people questions, yeah. they're not able to answer. Because there's a lot of people that do not even know who they are. All they know is their date of birth and their name. They're like robots. Uh, they're like robots like and they're cloned. And they know like their certificate numbers and they know their details. But they don't know that they're a free soul. That they can go through trees. And they can walk on the grass. Really, the world's become like a prison, isn't it? People function in the prison. They can't, and when they get out, they can't function. Same in the services because they're told what to do, when to do it and people are like that in the outside world now and it's become a prison you know, if they're not told how to do something and when to do it they don't know what they're doing they're confused, they come to a standstill I like to go out and meet new people I like to show them who I am well, most people can't afford me (laughs) So welcome to me and Uncle Dean moments as we are walking through Colchester Park and we are meeting new people and when we meet them we introduce ourselves to them and then we get to know them and they get to know us and when you go out and meet new people then they can see you and you can see them and there are people made out of wood. They haven't been stolen. Them um, objects there, the grass cutter. There's definitely a market for antique things like that. I think it's to do with the war, VG Day, VE Day, to show what people did in the Home Guard. They showed it to show people how they defended this country and they made a difference. And there you go. These are wooden things made out of wooden things to represent the army and how they shine on. We have gone out today to meet people and we show them who we are and then they show us who they are 
we are now making this chain reaction grow where people all know who we are, don't they, Uncle Dean? Yep. It's a beautiful afternoon for walking through Castle Park in the middle of June. And if it's a chain, you've got to know what part of the link you are to be part of that chain. It could be any chain. You're in Texas, it could be the chainsaw. <laughs> That's the groundkeeper's cottage on the left here. So, Uncle Dean, after we go out and meet people and show them who we are and we see who they are, what memories have you got at this part of Colchester Park back in the day? Um, being arrested. Uh, <laughs> um, well, we just, like, we just come over here to sit, drink bottles of beer inside them, muck about for fun. People play football, but you don't see anyone kicking a ball about. Nothing else. I, I, I suppose it's all been banned, but, you know, playing whatever you want in the grounds of the park. You're only allowed to go down and sit and look and not do nothing. I mean, the parks have always been places where people play games, isn't it? Kick a football about and... What's this house here, Uncle that's, Dean? That's the, that's the bloke who looks after the castle park, he's the gamekeeper. He lives house. here? Yeah. Superb. It's a lovely little house. You know, he's in charge of the maintenance of the park. Yep. What else? What else? Um, that's bowls over there, that hut. They play bowls. I don't know if that still goes on over there. That's thatched hut there. Look around, they play bowls. This will be open. Just play. Can I have a boat about on here? I've seen fish in here, what people are obviously caught in the, in the river and they're put in here. I've only about a foot and a half deep. Today, me and Uncle Dean have gone out and we have met people and we have showed them who we are and they have showed us who they are and we have not been that impressed by what we've seen. There's a lot of sheep following other people there's a lot of people being told what to do. There's a lot of people that think they're just a security number or an identification number. We just want to make this film so people are aware that they are beautiful and that we care. Welcome to coming to the most beautiful part of the world, Colchester Park, Colchester Castle Park, the oldest recorded town in Great Britain. And you can see to the bottom of the water. Yeah. I've seen people went in the winter on it, skating, when it's frozen over. You don't have to worry about it if you go through the ice, do you? Because it's about a foot and a half of water. So it's not that deep? No. It's all concrete. So do you remember when, when this got made? No, I don't actually. I've always been here as long as I can remember. Yeah. I used to go there on it when I was a kid. Yeah. But, um... Can you please tell us about a childhood memory here, please? Oh my god, I've been criminating a lot of people. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, well, I, I used to come over here from the age of seven, eight, fishing all along here. Um, there was a lot of people fishing. There was an old bloke who used to fish on that corner off the weir just for eels. And he used to catch them and eat them. And he was a pensioner, he was in his 70s then, when I was about eight, eight years old. Um, he won't be about now. Today we have made an effort to go out and meet people. And when we've met them, we've shown them that we are who we are. And they have showed us what they are. And we think that more humanity and more people need to like live life and talk and communicate and be a part of what life is all about. I mean, if, 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 Sometimes I go out and have a walk around the neighbourhood at two, three, four in the morning. I'm restless because I've got I haven't got work in the morning. And people go, what are you doing that for? Where's the freedom? And you know, people think you're up to something just because you're having a walk, getting fresh air. You know, you're wrong. <laughs>
We like to go out. We like to meet people. We like to show them who we are. We like to see who they are. This is what life is all about. Make sure you go out and meet new people. Make sure you tell them who you are. And make sure you get to see who they are. And we can make such a beautiful life together. This is what it's all about, Uncle Dean, yeah? Yeah. Well, I mean, look at that sign, look. That's it, look. Danger. Do not attempt to tamper with this. Here you go. Let's for you. Right. We're making films. One for you, sir. Thank you. This one for you. Because you've seen what we do, haven't you? Okay, if you get any idea for films, let me know, yeah? We are going out. We are meeting new people. We are giving them our cards. They might contact us. We might contact them. And we are showing that humanity has a appetite to talk to each other. And if more people did this, it would be a better world. Am I right? For example, why, why should, does there have to be a sign there saying it's deep water and dangerous? It's obvious. It's just common sense. I suppose at the end of the day, it's, it's to cover themselves if there's an accident, isn't it? insurance wise it is so nice to go out and meet new people and show them who we are and we can see who they are and we want more people to do this don't we uncle dean oh yeah so many people sitting about indoors all day on the internet or whatever in front of the telly and that's why people don't communicate in the street or talk on buses isn't that they've lost their um, community spirit and knowing each other and that you know people don't leave their doors open anymore and that, you know, you can leave your door open and your neighbour would say something if someone tried to walk in. That's all gone. You need to go out and meet new people. And you need to show them who you are. And then you can see who they are. And if more people did this, there'd be less antisocial behaviour. Then you wouldn't need the police. Then you wouldn't need the police. And we can all get to know each other more. And we can have a better life. Yeah, we should, have, we should be able to live in a world where it's not policed and that because people should know common sense and decency what to do and not to do. You need to get out. You need to get out more. You need to meet new people. You need to show them who you are and they will show you who they are. Yeah. Communication. Um, just, just, you know, humans are supposed to communicate with each other. You know, like animals do in the wild. But like when you go out on these little adventures and you meet all these new people, you're seeing that... Everywhere, look, fences. You're seeing... everywhere. You're seeing that there's an appetite for people to like know each other more and communicate more and to do more with each other. It's such a better life, Uncle Dean, isn't it? Yeah, but I'm, I'm, if you want to get down to it, you see, I see fences, restrictions, signs everywhere. Where you shouldn't need that. It's health and safety, Uncle Dean. It's health and safety. Yeah, but people should have common sense. They can realise that without that sign being there. We need to explain to people that they need to go out and meet new people. Yeah, pe people don't get out and no, experience could, life enough. Because they watch it on the computer too much. Yes, and they, some people get so enthralled in it, they reenact that in the street. They can't decide what's reality and the fiction, you know. I, I think I think that they need to get out and meet new people. Yeah. And then they could, like, show people who they are and they could see what people really are too. Yeah, they, they talk to each other on the internet and play games with each other and they don't even know each other if they bump into them in the street. It's exactly that, ladies and gentlemen. You need to get out, meet new people, show them who you are and see who they are. They're just a password on the monitor screen. And that is the name of this video, and I hope that you all share this film, and I hope many more people get out, meet new people, show them who they are, and see what they are. Shine on. Shine on.